All right, hello, and welcome to the coffin of Andy and Lele. Oh, Wasad, E and Z plus space, uh, run shift, hang one. All right, we are playing the feud. So run is going to be X, A is to interact, cancel is B, of course. All right, cool. Episode one, the coffin. Andy says, Lele, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> well, I do. Just go over and, did you, did you? I thought she's your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. <sighs> As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Very relatable. A bunch of rented movies. Their due dates passed ages ago, but what can you do? Oh my god, it's white noise. How thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? So true. A VHS player cannot be eaten. Well, I beg to differ. I got Pika. A mop. The washer. It's a cleaning closet. Inside are various supplies such as trash bags. The toilet. Oh my god, we flushed it. Lol. LOL. The freezer is completely empty. It's just some dirt. It's just some dirt. It's just some dirt. Coffee machine sits alone, sad and abandoned. There are only so many times you can brew the same grounds, so no more coffee in this house. Hmm. Inside the cabinets is... Nothing! <laughs> Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Ugh! Whatever. Just leave it. Um, okay. Just leave it for now. Just leave it for now. Okay. You gonna go to bed? Your parents have... Your parents have fucked on this bed. Wow. Good to know. <laughs> this is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times. It is truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. I'm sorry, what? Oh wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. You should show that to your brother. What the fuck am I playing right now? It's just some dirt. A lone trash bag, nothing worth mentioning is inside. It won't budge, you've been locked in here for months now. I feel like your parents have fucked on this bed. Mm. In the trash lies your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. All right. <laughs> Dirty laundry, all right, all right, all right. Hello, brother. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! <sighs> Not the reaction you were hoping for. <clears throat> um, why? We're not eating that. Mm -hmm. No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it for a little longer. Quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh. How did you know I it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> what? I, I live in a den of snakes. Ah, don't rile me up, you're making me hungry. You know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? I think I have an idea. She's going to say, the tomatoes. No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Amen to that, man. Time for you to go cook some tater tomatoes. Some tomatoes. Tomatoes. Good day, are you still alive in there? <sighs> Hello, if you won't make a sound, I'll have to assume that you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. <laughs> Boy, she got over there quick. She said, you don't bring it to the living either. 
I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. Don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab us something from the store? Nah, not my job. I'll check in again on you later. Bye. Oh, wait. Wait, wait. Come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Well, time to cook some tomatoes. <sighs> boiled the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned for tomatoes. There is even a little bit of peppers left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You use all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I've ever ate. Hmm, <laughs> kiss ass. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. <laughs> she really was like, mm-hmm, yeah. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Oh, are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. You got balcony key. This way. Unlock the balcony door. Yeah, excuse me. An ashtray. There are no cigarettes left to smoke, but it's still good for bashing things in. I uh, can't really see squat from here. Contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Eh, he's no fun. Guess you have to set something up to cross. What might we have to do that with? Items? We only have the balcony key. What about that wooden plank? Oh! <laughs> Alright, that, that actually makes sense. Okay, we just talked to it. We don't have to go into it old school fashion. Let's take a peek through their door. Dot, 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 dot. Um. Ooh, demons from hell. Hear my plea. Ooh, the whole and the holy ones. I come seeking your advice. God damn it. <laughs> What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Uh... <laughs> what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Yeah, let's go watch TV. Fuck this game. <laughs> ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Yeah, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always had to do everything around right here. Yeah, yeah, what was you? It is. Well, y'all are lazy. You can't press a button. <laughs> You'd rather go and look for batteries than press some fucking buttons on your TV. Truly a 2023 fucking problem. You take the batteries out of the alarm lock. I didn't know that was where we were going to go with that. I thought we would have went in the drawer, but honestly, that makes a lot of sense. Who needs an alarm clock anyway when you can just sleep all day? I've got the remote right here. Nah, that's okay. I think I'll just push the buttons on the TV after all. I can see you have the batteries. Just hand them over. Nope, I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? Why are you being so difficult about this? I'm not. I'm taking on the Herculean task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. <clears throat> Thank you for tuning in. Today, we share with you some joyous developments in regard to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which tainted water had been delivered have been secured. It's been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 in total. Comfy? No biggie. The quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Uh, again? 
And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry, it's thank you for your continued, for your continued consideration to the public's safety. That's all for today. Cheers. Oh, I'm going to bed. You decided to do the same. <clears throat> Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father. I can't. I'm, I think I'm having a brain aneurysm. Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until. I didn't drink anything. Mom! Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing! Only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Mom, no! Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a motherfucker. <laughs> there we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. I'm sorry, what? That's all for now. Take care. Jerkwad. Stop calling me Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to lay around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you got to complain about. Anyways, I've got to go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. G goodbye Ashley. I'm sorry. You don't sound very sorry, you sound like an asshole. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decided to clean up the house a bit. Really? That is, uh... Not expected. Picked up some laundry. Guess what? You picked up some laundry. Picked up some laundry. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Probably not, Andrew, but don't worry about it. You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Okay, you know what, asshole? I'll go to the bathroom then. Got a mop. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Let's mop some more dirt. Let me guess. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. What else is there to take care of? This big mess in here. Are you, can you say the line again for me? Nope. She doesn't want to. Alright. Let's clean up these books. You return all the books to the shelf. Now what else could you clean? Uh, To be frank, I'm not entirely sure. The house looks pretty good. Oh, the trash. But we can't really get rid of the trash because there's nowhere to take it to. Wait, 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 wait. What if we put it in the machine? Oh, we need detergent. Got detergent. You run the laundry. You're feeling dizzy. No, Ashley. Damn it, Ashley, I told you not to overdo it. Does she have asthma? All that running around may have gave her an asthma attack. Good news once again. So, you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? <sighs> On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullies directly into your brain as a thank you. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be 
click, you drift back into unconsciousness. We're sleeping. You're too tired to get the phone. Hello? Of course. What is it? Hmm. The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. Oh no. Go ahead. Someone is talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean... I can't do anything about that. Or I can... I can try talking to her, but... No, or... Well, yes, but... That doesn't... No, I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you... Don't, Lee and Ashley and, you've had t the time to think? Just can't anymore. So that's it then? Now it's quiet, on both ends. Well, alright, I guess. What else is there to say? Uh, sorry? Although I don't really see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep 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 of a drop call can be heard. <sighs> <sighs> Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. <laughs> oh, she dumped you. Why is that? Why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Maybe she just didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. <laughs> there might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Nah, I'm gonna go play video games. Now nah, let's go check on him. Andrew, I'm sorry about what I said, bro. Someone from your apartment is apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Color me surprised they actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die, she wasn't moving. As if they let have their sirens blurring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? Yeah, what do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Think they'd bring me food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? <laughs> Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. <laughs> Over my dead body? He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. <sighs> Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. It was just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But, okay, I don't know why that happened. I barely pressed a button. But after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Yeah, you don't seem to be bursting with energy here, Ashley. Ashley? Oh my god, she's barely moving. <laughs> no, she fell over. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been watching your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Uh, I'm coming! Andrew, what are you doing? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It barely, it's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. 
You won't bring us any anyway. Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door. And that's going to be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. You think they'll really get the delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. <laughs> so. Parasites? It's been a few months. Are you, uh, feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. A nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Uh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from that, from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Uh, let's not, though I do appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Uh, excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force that our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush. Never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Well, my, might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment what feels like an eternity already. Look, I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? No wonder your girlfriend dumped you if those are your plans for romance. Not romance. I said it's romantic. They're not the same thing, you know. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Uh, again? I wish he just... Oh my god, he summoned the Demogorgon. <laughs> uh, you feel like you should check up on that. Let's check up on that. What are you doing, bud? My lord, you've come, and you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Uh, um, but I don't have much to give right now. But if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what happening. What's happening? By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lays the lifeless body of the cultist. <laughs> so, uh, am I delirious already, or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on it? Well, at the very least, I do want to turn off that CD player. Ah, that's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy has that we can eat. <laughs> Burglary time. Sh shut up. Let's get in there. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. So I have a Let's go get something to break the door glass with, I guess. And... <gasps> Don't mind that. That's gonna do it for this episode. This game is super fun, though. I'm loving this so far. So I'll see you guys next time, and we're gonna go break into the cultist's house, hopefully not get killed by a demon, get some food, maybe some more tomatoes, and yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll see you then. Peace.